Hello guys, and welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so in the previous video, we thought exactly on how we're able to retouch this image, to take it from this to this. So if you want to know exactly the processes that it took to retouch this particular image, just go to the video in the description below and click on it and you're going to watch the step-by-step -step edit. But for this particular one, I'm going to be taking you through step-by-step -step guide on the best way to sharpen your image in Photoshop and also the best way to export your image to retain sharpness and retain the color even when you upload it on any of, of your social media platforms and you will not have a shift of color so without wasting your time let's quickly get started so i'm going to match this then i'm going to flatten this up because we're done with the retouching so the next thing i want to do right now or the first thing i want to do right now is to add detail to my image so to do that i'm going to press ctrl j very very simple Press Ctrl J, go to your filter, go to your other, go to your high pass. So when you come to your high pass, do make sure you zoom in your image a little. So once you zoom in your image and you are not seeing these textures, so what you should do is just to be increasing your high pass until you see enough texture that you want to retain. So maybe like two is going to be too much. So let's try one. So I have, a, I already have a lot of textures showing up already. So when I, when I press apply, is going to pull up all that texture. So I'm going to press OK, change the blend mode to overlay. Why? Because overlay is the blend mode that, that neutralizes everything 50% gray and reveals everything behind you. So the high pass comes up as in 50% gray. So overlay is the best blend mode to use and take it away. Now you can zoom in and you will see the amazing sharpness we are able to uh, look at that before and after. One more thing you could have done, let me show you quickly, is to Make sure you convert this layer to a smart object. Convert this layer to a smart object, then do the same high pass thing. So I'm just going to apply it, press OK. So when you change the blend mode to overlay and you feel that you're not getting a lot of detail, now you can go back into the high pass and even increase it and you will see the effect in real life on your image. So let's try two. So you see that two is actually giving us a, giving us a lot of details. So that's one of the ways you can do that. Press OK and zoom out so now we have our image properly showing up the details now i'm going to match it also flatten it up okay so once you are done with your skin texture the next thing we are going to be doing which is the second part of the video is to export our image and retain all these textures and colors so one of the first thing you should look out for is your color profile so to find your color profile you need just all you need to do is to go to your edit and come down to your assigned profile Assign profile. So check exactly where it is. If it's not in sRGB, if it's in RGB over here, then you are making a mistake. It's not going to save with this vibrance. It's going to save with something lesser. So what does this do? This is just for preview purposes. And a lot of social media platforms uses sRGB. Some media devices also uses sRGB. So to make sure that what you are looking at on your screen is exactly what comes up on your IG or your Facebook, make sure you are working with sRGB and not Adobe RGB because Adobe RGB will give you a very good color preview. But when you upload, you are going to lose a lot of details. So to do that, just come over here and convert to sRGB. Now, having converted to sRGB, you can now decide to increase your vibrance to assume the same thing you saw in your Adobe RGB. So when we have the colors popping like this, then we are very much sure that when we upload in any of our social media handles or when you upload in any of your social media handles, you are going to have exactly the same color vibrance that I have here. So what I'm going to do right now is to show you how to export. So to export, just go to your file, go to export, go to save for web legacy. So when you come into save for web legacy, make sure you do the same settings that we are seeing on your screen. Make sure that optimize is checked. Make sure that embedded color profile is checked. Make sure that your preset is in JPEG and make sure that your quality is 100%. Then make sure you are selecting convert to sRGB because we are already in sRGB. It's not going to take away from our color. Then quickly press save and you are good to go. So I already had this saved before. So I'm going to just replace that yeah, place and we are good to go. So let's go check it out right here. So this is what we had. Let me cancel this. All right. So this is what we have after we exported let me pull up my photoshop like this so i'm just going to show you side by side so to get that i'm going to place this over here 
nice, beautiful. So I'm just going to so show you side by side what we have in Photoshop and what we have in Preview. Look at the colors, exactly the same thing. So when I upload this image in any social media platform, I am very much sure to be receiving the same result, the same exact result without any color shift or any color change of any type anywhere. Thank you for watching this amazing video. Do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and please click the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. If you want to learn exactly how the retouching of this image was done, just go straight to the video in the description and you will see how the retouching of this image was done step by step. Thank you for watching this amazing video. See you some other time.